Today, on Be Something Wonderful, manifesting despite negative thoughts and triggers. You asked and we answered. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. We're back this morning here in Cancun, Mexico for another powerful set uh, uh, video. And really, this, this comes from an early morning session that I had. And, and here was her question, Tom, what's the answer to triggers in a lifetime, hear the wording here, lifetime of negative programming and subconscious negativity. So we get it, right, that, there, that thought includes all, all the, sub, the consciousness includes all subconscious and conscious thought. We get that, right? And there's a lot that we've absorbed. But what is the answer? Well, it's not running away or hiding from 3D reality or people or circumstances. It's not about manipulating or trying to control 3D circumstances or people or conditions. It's not about giving up in resignation, right? And it's not about talking about it once a week and hoping, uh, uh, digging up the reasons why, telling the same story over and over again in hopes that you'll dig up why you can't create or why these negative circumstances or negative feelings and negative thoughts keep coming up. What's it about then? It's about feeling it each and every time, feeling it all, bringing it to conscious awareness and then releasing it. Not holding on to anything, letting it all go and then choosing again. Right? Doing this with love. Remember, love is the great elixir and dissolvent of triggers and negativity. But we're going to really hit it today like we never have before. So, so the, one, one thing that this client said, Tom, it seems so inconsistent and arbitrary in terms of her manifesting, right? I feel like I got it and then I'm derailed by a negative event or something in 3D reality. Remember, you, you're manifesting and creating your whole life in every moment. It's not that you're not manifesting consistently. You are right? That your whole life is a creation, right? I, and here's the wording, I get triggered. Remember who that I is. That I is reality. That I is the all, right? It's you. It's that spiritual self. It's that I am, right? And then you have your thoughts and feelings. That's the mental realm, spiritual realm, you, I am, God, mental realm, thoughts and feelings, and then the physical realm, 3D conditions, people, events, and circumstances. You're trying to battle it out, here, with thoughts and feelings, three conditions on the mental and physical realms, right? You're trying to change, uh, you know, all of that here. You're, you're fighting and struggling. Instead, go to the spiritual realm. Go, go up to that higher you, that I am, right? It's I versus me. And, and, and the me is always going to lose in the end, right? In the end, that I or that ego is always going to lose. How? By never getting what it wants. Right? By always struggling, by always thinking that it's out, it's separate, it's limited. The I is where it's at, right? It's impossible for God, your real self, to ever be triggered or ever get triggered. It's working here in that, in, here in that higher self. So let's hit this a little bit more. You have desire and then fulfillment of that desire. You have your decision to be, do, or have. Whoops, it's blowing around here, guys. Be, do, or have what you want, which is effortless. And then you have the fulfillment of it, right? I am that I am. It's effortless. The knowing, the certainty, the conviction, the absolute faith and perfect belief that it's yours and you are that. And here, what do you have? The middle. Again, I touched on this yesterday. I've touched on this in other videos, but I really want to hit it. There, there's only doubt. There's only confusion. There's only fear. There's only triggers in the middle. Right? This is the house. Uh, if uh, a house is divided against itself, that house cannot stand. You're dividing the house when you're spending your time here, right? By trying to battle those thoughts and feelings, by trying to battle 3D. You want to go from desire to fulfillment. You don't want to stay here because you never get the fulfillment, and you don't want to be stuck in the middle. And this is normally where we are. We're between a desire and the middle, going back and forth but never reaching fulfillment, never reaching that knowing or that conviction, right? When you identify with and believe you are those changing thoughts, feelings, and conditions, you are stuck in the middle, right? You're a house divided, right? This day you get to choose 
Who are you going to serve? Are you going to serve the middle or are you going to serve fulfillment, that higher you? So let's, let's hit it a little bit more. Remember, you are imagining, creating, and thinking into being the conditions and circumstances of your life in every moment with the consistency, accuracy, and precision of your inner world. Always. That never stops. You're always accurate. You're always consistent. And, and you're always manifesting with precision. But the question is, where are you? Are you stuck in the middle? Are you stuck in desire? Or are you moving to fulfillment? Right? God's law never fails. Non-fulfillment is impossible. Hear this. Non-fulfillment is impossible. Either you're filling yourself with fear or you're filling yourself with love. But you're being fulfilled. Do you get it? It's impossible for God's law not to work. How, and remember this, the inscription, now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that, that works in us. Right? That works in us. <laughs> okay? So, guys, this is, scripture said it. It exceedingly abundantly, all of it, whatever you ask, it works through you, in you, as you, with precision, with accuracy, right? So, either you are thinking with love and expectation of fulfillment, hear this, or with fear and the expectation of non-fulfillment. In other words, either you're excluding the middle, the thoughts, the feelings, the drama, the trauma, the 3D reality not manifesting, trying to reconcile that great, that, that all those thoughts in your, in your consciousness, right? Or you're, you're in fulfillment, or you're in fulfillment, you're in the expectation of fulfillment. Right? Either you're stuck in the middle or you're excluding the middle, right? When you doubt and get triggered by thoughts and 3D conditions, you're stuck in the middle of non-fulfillment. Remember, fulfillment is God's promise. It's your birthright. God's plan and I, I think this came up in this morning's session. Well, maybe it's God's plan that I can't, I, I don't have what I want in, 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 at, at this time or, or not at all. That's not God's plan. God's only plan is fulfillment and more fulfillment. Abundance and more abundance. It's clear in Scripture. You create the messy middle. You create that mess. That's all you. Do not fear, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Just get out of the messy middle. Right? How do you do that? By bringing it to awareness, by feeling everything. Right? It's not about going digging stuff up and trying to figure out why and when and how it happened. You just keep recreating it. Right? You're perfect as you are. The promise is clear and it's unconditional. Whoever or what, whatsoever <laughs> and whomever, whatsoever you ask and pray, believing in your I am or that God or that Christ in you, it shall be done for you. It shall be done unto you. You shall receive it. That's clear. If we, if, if this, the scripture was clear. How can we doubt that, right? The answer to thoughts of doubt and fear, um, both conscious and subconscious, all of it is awareness of all your wishes already fulfilled. It's bringing everything to awareness. Remember, we define positivity, right? It's not about trying to think positive thoughts, but that's okay, but that, 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 that just keeps you away, that just keeps you attracting negative thoughts. It's about bringing that to awareness, all of it, all that you're thinking and feeling and choosing again. Feeling and releasing the thoughts of non-fulfillment, negative, unwanted, and repeatedly moving back to the awareness of your holy, unlimited, divine self. It's over and over again. This is why Neville got it and all the other spiritual greats. Talk about frequency. Talk about the, the neurons that fire together, wire together. It's moving back. It's feeling it, not resisting anything. Feeling the thought and then choosing again. The frequency of going back, persisting in that goodness that's already within you, and persisting in your higher self. That's what does it every time. That's manifesting despite negative thoughts and triggers. You asked, and we answered. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of Higher Consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for, for subscribing. Thank you for sharing the videos and liking the videos. Thank you for your lovely comments. I love them. Please keep, keep, keep going. And thank you for considering joining 
the uh, other channel, the, the Be Something Wonderful um, membership channel, that's also open to you. You can visit our website at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com. We have an Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen. We have a Facebook page at Be Something Wonderful. We also have a group called the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at Facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. Creators and members with love, with light and infinite gratitude coming to you from Cancun, Mexico. Until next time, this is Tom. See you soon.